A welder has two pieces of half inch pipe, one of length two and a half feet and another of length three fourth feet. What is the total length of the two pieces welded together? To find the total length, we have to add the length of the first piece to the length of the second piece. So here we have the length of the first feet piece is two and a half feet and the length of the second piece is three fourth feet. So we're adding two and a half to three fourth. We're adding two fractions here. Well, a mixed number and a fraction. So the first thing we want to do is convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. We do that by multiplying the denominator by the whole number part, then adding the numerator. So we'd have two times two plus one, which would be four plus one, which would then be five, all over the original denominator of two. So this mixed number is equivalent to the improper fraction five over two. So then we have fraction five over two plus fraction three over four. So we're adding two fractions with unlike denominators. We need to find a least common denominator and change this first fraction to have the same denominator as the second fraction. The least common denominator in this case is four because it's the smallest number that is divisible by both two and four, divisible by both the denominators. So we will change here. We already have denominator four with the fraction three over four, so we don't need to do anything with that fraction, but we do need to change the fraction five over two to an equivalent fraction with denominator four. So we're going to multiply by the number necessary to change two to four. To make two into four, we'd have to multiply by two. And if we want an equivalent fraction, we have to do the same thing to both numerator and denominator. So we're going to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by two in order to get this, change this, build this up to an equivalent fraction with denominator four. So here, two times two would be four, and then we'd have two times five, which would be 10. So five over two is equivalent to 10 over four. So it's equivalent to this fraction with denominator four equivalent because we did the same thing to the numerator and the denominator. We multiplied them both by two. So now we have two fractions with the same denominator. So we can add just adding the numerators and keeping that common denominator. So if we add the numerators and keep the common denominator, we have 10 plus three on the top, which gives us 13 on the top. And we keep the common denominator of four. So now we have this fraction 13 over four. We're not quite done yet. We still have to convert it to a mixed number. So now we're going to convert improper to mixed. This is backwards. It should say improper to mixed. So to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number, we'll just divide the numerator by the denominator. So here I'll show you. It's easiest to see if we actually do the long division. So 13 over 4, dividing 13 by 4, we get this. We use the division algorithm. We see that how many times would 4 go into 13 without going over 13 would be 3 because 3 times 4 is 12. So then we have 13 minus 12 gives us one remainder. So then we have the quotient which would be our whole number part for our mixed number 3 and then we use the remainder for the numerator and we use 4 the original denominator. So 13 over 4 would be equivalent to 3 and 1 fourths. So then the total length would be 3 and 1 fourth feet.